Welcome to CAMFORCE. This video will help you to familiarize the parts of a CNC turning center. Generally, the turning centers are two in types. They are horizontal turning center and the vertical turning center. The vertical turning centers are used for heavy components. Horizontal types are used widely for the general applications. So, let's explain the parts of a CNC lathe. We take the help of this structure for explaining the parts. The first one is headstock. Generally, the headstock are located in the left side of the machine. The main element present in the headstock is master spindle. The machining is done by the spinning of workpiece into a certain speed. This is done by the spindle. At the left side of the spindle, the main spindle drive is connected. Normally in CNC machines, servo motors are used as spindle drives. At the right side end, the work holding device is fixed. The wall assembly is known as headstock. The next part is tailstock. In CNC lathe, the tailstock is used for supporting the workpiece axially. Whenever we have lengthy workpiece for machining, we take support of tailstock center. The tailstock position can be adjusted along the lathe axis. The third part is work holding device. Normally, three jaw hydraulic chucks are used widely for clamping the jobs. The cylindrical and hexagonal shape can be easily holded in the chuck. We can use the chuck into two modes. They are OD clamping and ID clamping. According to the workpiece shape and the process, the other work holding devices also can be used in CNC lathe such as collet, face plate or a special fixture. Now we will look into another important part of a CNC lathe that is turret. Turret is a tool carrying element which we can store multiple tools which is required to perform various operations. Turret can be loaded with external tools such as turning, grooving, threading and more. Also the internal tools such as drill, boring bar and more. Normally the turret will have two axis movement that is X and the Z. Next part is CNC control panel. This is very important part of any CNC machine. This is also called as machine control unit. The control panel includes a screen and a keyboard for program editing, simulation and other machine related setting data. Many more various machine and program controls are available on CNC control panel for operating and controlling of machine. Basically the CNC controller works with an operating system software. Most commonly used operating systems are Fanuc, Siemens, Mitsubishi, Hyrodyne and Haas. Finally we move to the last part that is food switches. This is located below operator side. The operator can quickly activate and deactivate the workpiece holding and the work supporting by using these food pedals. Generally the left one is used for clamping and declamping of chuck and the other one is used for clamping and declamping of tail stock. Hope you understand well. For more CAD CAM CNC tutorials, subscribe CAMFORCE. Happy learning. Bye-bye.